Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the monthly reading for Aries for March 2018. How are you doing, Aries? Um, I just want to say before I start this reading, uh, March is going to be a bit of a funny month for me. I'm going back to the UK for a couple of weeks to pack everything up and then coming back over here to, to start my new life. So um, I'm not going to be available all of March for readings. I am available at the beginning of March, so if anybody would like a personal reading with me, then it's best to book sooner rather than later, because I am going to have about three weeks, uh, March and April, where I won't be available to do readings, okay? So if anybody would like a personal reading with me, just click the link below and it will take you to my book and form, okay? So just to get a little bit of business, and please excuse me, I have a real bad cold at the moment, so I'm snivelling and stuff like that, you know, but I'm absolutely fine. So right, this is for Aries, Aries moon, Aries rising as well, okay? People keep asking if it's for them. I put the intent in for Aries, so yes, it's it's for all of them, okay? So first of all, I'm going to go with what I'm picking up psychically for you, Aries. And it was almost like this showed me a stopwatch or like a... Um, like an hourglass or something. Time is of the essence, I feel. I feel that is really, really important this month for you. And it's almost like um, if you wait for something, then it may actually you may end up waiting forever, okay? Because it's almost like there is something in your grasp. But if you dither and I don't know what's what's the word um hesitate hesitate too much around it then it could actually elude you okay so it's almost like you you have this month to sort things out and then you know it's um something could slip through your fingers okay uh time is very important and none of us can stop time you know at all um so like I say waiting waiting for something might not be your best idea. If you if you have something that you want to go for, go for it now. The time is now, so to speak. Because I also feel what I'm saying here, it's almost like you're breaking restrictions, Aries. This is it. It's like breaking, breaking free. It's like almost like, right, okay, I want to do things my way. And I'm, you know, any rules or any restrictions anybody has put on you in the past, it's like you're breaking free with them. You're not doing this just to be arsy or just to be, you know, like stamping your feet and saying, I can do what I want. It's because you know you have to, okay? It's almost like this fire in your belly has actually, um, been ignited in some way and you know that you must take action and this is also coinciding with the time and thing where it's like right the time is now it's almost like you've waited so long anyway you know it's you've done all the planning you've done all the wishing you've done all of that so now it's a case of right okay I, I, I want to break free. It's almost like that Queen song, isn't it? You know, um, and I, I do feel that there is like divine guidance spurring you on with this. So please listen to your intuition this month because it's it's like I just feel that your world will become more colorful than what it is if you actually take this chance, if that makes sense. So like I say, it's, it's almost like you're finding your wings sort of in the nest if, if if that makes sense to to any of you but it's like i say the time is now you know your intuition is telling you spirit are telling you your body is telling you you know so this is it okay so make the most of this month aries because i do feel that there is there is something big here and something very precious as well i feel you know but like i say you don't want to miss out what uh, i've just been given that quote there what is it um yeah, you may find you've lost a diamond because you're very busy sifting through stones. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but that's what's just come through there, okay? So that was the psychic message that I was I was uh, picking up. Don't wait, just do, okay? That, that, that's what you need to do, Aries. So right, when I'm looking at your cards here, sorry, this... this the place is such a beautiful home, but there is nowhere to do readings from, and I'm all, I'm all scrunched up doing, here, doing them here. So, right, so the first thing that I'm getting here when I'm looking at your cards here, Aries, is I feel like you are, it, it's almost like you're looking at the finish line, you're looking at the victory, you're looking at this 
cup that could be presented to you, okay? But you have defences. Now, whether these defences are because of what I said before about restrictions or what, but it's almost like you've got the idea and it's, it's like... It's like a new life is upon you, but unless you take this action, then, you know, it, it, it's going to filter away, like I said. And it's almost what I'm getting here. It's like you are sick of fighting, okay? You are sick of fighting. You're sick of struggling through. You're sick of just walking through treacle all the time, you know? This is what it's like. And you are being presented with something that could be very precious and very poignant to you as well, okay? This is what they're saying. I don't know if this is matters of the heart as well because, you know, they're showing love here, but they're also showing that you you could be defensive against this. It's almost like you're, you're trying to block this out. And this could be because, it, I mean, some of you, I, I, I don't know, but, you know, uh, this is, I, I read how I come out, you know, I don't do couple singles and stuff like that. I read how they give me the messages. And what they're saying is it's almost like you may have been by yourself for that long. And there's a, a bit of, I, I feel your energy is really low as well, Aries, you know, um, or you may feel by yourself that, that this is it. And it's almost like you've been looking to the past for answers where it's it's the future that's going to give you them. So it's taken time to rest, okay? Get out of this mental headspace because I really feel in the headspace, you're not going to find the answers. You're going to find the answers in your feels and in your heart, okay? Not in the feels, <laughs> in the feels, Um and in, in, in your heart here, because I'm being shown here, it's almost like you've had this, when I talked about before, about this fire being ignited, it's almost like you've realized how strong you are, okay, it's like, you know, you've got, you're have you getting the strength card in, this is all about inner strength, this is all about healing, and it's all about being safe as well, okay, but there is still a fear, it's almost like you have a fear of security, this is what I'm picking up here, yeah, Aries, and it's, it's about this, like, this transition moving from this struggle into safeness and that is causing a little bit of a wobble I would say so it's almost like you're protecting yourself with this but in protecting yourself you could be preventing yourself from actually like entering this this safe zone <laughs> if that makes sense to you but I do feel some of you are it's almost like you I don't know if some of you have people that you feel responsible for or that you are responsible for, okay? It's like you are taking responsibilities for somebody else's life. So this is restricting you. I don't feel this is in a partner sense or something like that. This could be a child. It could be a parent. It could be grandparents. It could be something where you are looking after somebody else, but at the cost of yourself as well. You know, I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. And it's almost like you're sitting there with your arms folded and thinking, well, this is my life and it's it's that's only your life if you allow it okay Aries because what I'm being shown here is by you holding on to your old life you could miss out on the happily ever after because that is what's showing here okay this is going to be a pretty emotional month I feel but what they're saying to me is here you need to stand into your power this is it it's you need to step into your power step into your greatness you know um and charge ahead. So it's action, action, action needs to be taken uh, this month. If you do this, Aries, they're showing me here. I mean, these cards are amazing, honestly. They, they, they really are. You're the first reading I've done um, for marches. And if, if the whole month's like this for everybody, then, you know, absolutely brilliant. But this is telling me you can still... Keep your whole life, you don't have to completely shut the door on it, but it needs to be balanced, okay? You need to heal, there's a renewal coming, there's a wish coming true. This is almost like something you've wished for is being presented to you and now you're humming and hawing a bit, thinking, oh, all right, okay, I'm a little bit scared. What I want to say is step away from that comfort zone. It's almost like I'm getting warnings here. You know, they were calling it the safe zone and it's like step away from the comfort zone. Step away from the comfort zone. <laughs> it's almost like coming through with Tanoi. It's like the voice of the universe is, is coming through loud and clear. And yes, you know, there will be work to do because, you know, we never stop working. We never stop working on ourselves. But they're saying it, it's almost like you have an ally that will help you with this, okay? 
whether this is just spirit, whether it's somebody around you, you know, I'm I'm not sure. But what they're saying here, yeah, it's almost like, well, you can do magic. What's what, what's what's that? You that song? You can you can do magic. You know, your your you, these cards are amazing, Aries. Okay, and I can it. You know what? You couldn't even write this. They they're coming out. There is the sun. This is the freedom. This is the most positive card in the deck, and it's saying the sun is shining on you. It's like it's like the sun, the stars, the moon. All of that is shining on you this month Aries you know but they're wanting you to actually start to live authentically to step into you okay not the you that people tell you who you are not the you you feel you need to be it's about what is good for you are your wants and needs being met where you are now if they're not then there is an opening where it's it's almost like it's almost like you are I, I, I don't know how can I say this how can uh, what they it's almost like you're stepping into your own like sort of Disneyland and everything you ever wanted is is there, you know? It's like your wish is coming true. A life beyond your wildest dreams is there. But you need to tell the truth to other people. You need to tell the truth to yourself and you need to step up to the mark here, you know? Otherwise, like I say, it, it could go. This is, I feel, there's a big lesson for you this month, okay? The more you worry and the more you get in your head with this, the more this is, it's it's almost like you're pushing it away. And I feel that you would be such a fool if you were going to, okay? Because this is the start of something new, a new cycle. You've been out in the cold too long. It's like that bleak midwinter is over, Aries, okay? And you are stepping into the sunshine. You know, don't be scared of the sunshine. The sunshine is, a, a friend of mine once said to me, she said, you're like sunshine, Tanya, because I'm, I'm a pretty intense person. <laughs> and she said, some people love it and they love to bask in it and they love to bask in the rays, but other people are scared of it. They're scared that they're going to get burned or it shines in their eyes, okay? So I'm saying to you, this sun is not going to burn you, okay? It's not going to sh shine in your eyes. The only thing it's going to do is make you see clearer. It's going to make you happier. It's going to make you feel more free than you probably have done in years you know you're getting the judgment card here please don't hesitate this is the chance of a new life a new you a new start and this is absolutely amazing follow your heart Aries because you know it's be like a kid again you know what, what, what what's that um step out in the future like a child you know when you believed anything is possible because what i'm seeing here it is anything is possible you've been wanting changes okay you've been wanting them you've wanted them for so long and now you are being given them okay please trust the universe please trust whoever is around you okay and please trust that this making this small step will it's, it's almost like what a small step for man and something for mankind what is it they said when they went on the moon um, it's almost like this there is victory there is recognition do not sabotage this um aries because like i say your overthinking could just lead to confusion you're being given balance you're being given blessings you know you're free to take them if you want them so please let your emotions guide you this month okay so right, it's, it's it's this is wow. What what a reading there! I'm going to pull a spirit card and see what it is. It's almost like rather than looking at your past, you're looking to your future now. You're ready to make plans, and whatever you touch is going to turn to gold, Aries. Okay. So like I say, what a way to start these readings. I am absolutely buzzing with this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it for you. Please let me know if this makes sense to you as well, Aries. But like I say, be brave. And you will be rewarded okay so spirit card for aries what do we have here right okay positive outcome look at that i love this card because it always reminds me of rose quartz and if we have a look at the woman in that it's like all of her chakras are aligned you know she's standing up straight and she's like right okay yes there's a big big yes coming through there and this says don't give up now. Have faith, trust. The forces of love are at work behind the scenes. Expect a joyous and positive outcome. Okay? So like I say, it's almost like anything you touch this month could turn to gold, Aries. Okay? So break them chains of restriction and step out into this fabulous new cycle that is starting for you. But remember, that clock is ticking, you know? So don't hesitate at all. So... 
I hope you like that. Please let me know if you did. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, and if anybody does want a personal reading with me, please get in touch via the link below. Uh, because I will only be available for the beginning of March for readings, okay? Uh, sorry about this, but, you know, my life is going through a huge transition at the moment. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm waking up every day thinking, God, I'm the, like the luckiest girl in the world. You know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, but it does it take some sorting out as well. So I'm sorry that I can't be there as much for readings as I normally am. Okay, and then hopefully when everything's settled, then I'll get back to doing the weeklies and everything like that. But have an absolutely fabulous, fabulous month, Aries. This is a biggie, a real, real biggie. Okay, lots of love. Satnam.